So these are the finished bears. I sewed this one first as a tester to test the pattern. Um, just with fabric, you can see where all the seams are and how detailed it is. There's 21 pattern pieces, which is kind of crazy. Um, my kids already ripped the nose off of this one. <laughs> Um, and this one came out a little small, so I increased the pattern size a bit for these other two. These also look bigger just because they're fluffy. Um, I found a pattern on Etsy. There's a whole bunch of them. And my kids wanted them to be cats, so I just made the ears a little more pointy. And um, these two were sewn with the same pattern, but you can see they look a little bit different partially because the muzzle fur on this one is fluffier than this one. And then also I placed the nose a little differently. This one's higher up and this one's lower down. And um, I used a safety type eye and nose for these, which almost goes on like a rivet. You punch a hole and you put the eye through. It has a little post on the back and then there's a clip you put on the back side to keep them secure. And then I also, on both of these, put a little bit of leather around the eyes and the nose to help push the fur away. And I also trimmed with some scissors from the eyes to the nose and across the bridge of the nose and around the eyes a little bit to open them up. Um, before I did that, even with the leather backing behind the eyes, you could just barely even see them because they were so left over. And same thing with this one. I trimmed some hair around the nose and around the eyes to open them up a little bit. Um, and I ended up putting on the arms with rivets, which I like because then the arms are movable. They're cute and very soft and fuzzy.